What's up, tubers? This is Superdale, and today I got another video for you. I'm currently using the On 4K Pro. All right, very, very nice device. Um, but on on this device, I do want to show you right quick. It does have something that's a little bit special in the background. It has a USB 3.0 which is right there, the little blue slot right there. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn this on 4K Pro that you can get from Walmart, currently at 50 bucks, three gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage. But I'm going to show you how you can turn this bad boy into a live capture feed, motion detection. You can use it as a surveillance, yes surveillance in the back of me for everybody that follow me you know i got a bunch of custom jordans and things like that and sometimes i believe my children my teenager boys sometimes sneak down here and try to get a pair of shoes to rock with them and then hurry up and bring them back and i may not notice it for a whole year or two all right but we got something that will change that forever using the on 4k pro streaming device or any android device including phones smartphones all right now one thing you're going to need let me do this right quick here's the application right here it's called usb camera as you see back here um currently it is not inside of the on 4K Pro Google Play Store. I don't know if it's inside the NVIDIA Shield, uh, anything like that, but I do know currently this app is not inside of the On 4K Pro Google Play Store. So what you're gonna have to do, I did find a couple of them. Um, APK Pure has it, you can try that. You can try APK Mirror. And I'm quite sure, guys, I'm almost quite sure that AppToy TV, the App Store has it. I'm, I'm almost positive. They have everything. And what you can do is sideload this application right here on to this, you know, um, 4K Pro streaming device. You can sideload it, all right? Many ways you can go on YouTube and just search how to sideload you know, application on Android. All right, let's get back to it. Also, you're gonna need a webcam. The webcam is gonna allow us to capture a live feed, capture, you know, um, motion. It's gonna capture motion, and this app right here allows you to capture live motion. So you're gonna need a USB webcam. Also, you're gonna need a USB 2.0 or 3.0 hub. You need some slots where this camera, this USB camera, is going to go into one of these inputs right here. It's as simple as that. Also, I suggest that you get a keyboard with a touchpad or a Bluetooth mouse, something where you can move a cursor on here because using your remote control will not work. You need something where you can use some type of mouse toggle, Bluetooth, plug it directly, a, a wired mouse, something. You're going to need something that you can actually move the cursor when you're using, again, this application. And I will show you that demonstration shortly. All right. And so here in my demonstration, even though I do got the Q9, mini keyboard and I love this keyboard but in this demonstration I will be using the Logitech K400 again it comes with a dongle all right so I currently have everything right here let me just make this a little bit larger let me put this right here in the middle and make it just a little bit larger so you can see everything in real time so here it is right here this is the USB hub. I do have, you know, a 4K Pro, but I'm going to use this one, all right? This is the one that's showing in the background of my screen. First, take this, 
plug it into the open USB slot in the back. The first thing you're going to do, all right? You plugged it in, there go the hub right here. I do have my webcam, which is right here. This is my webcam that I have that is USB. All right? So I'm going to sit my webcam right here. I'm going to take this. Let me pick this up. And just so y'all can see, you see a dongle on the back of there. That's that Logitech K400. That's that keyboard with the touchpad. But I'm going to take the camera and I'm going to plug it in. Okay, I'm going to plug it in. Now, let me make myself smaller. Okay. Let me do this. Okay. Now, if you have the application, it may open up as soon as you plug your camera up. Okay. If it opens up, all you have to do is hit OK, and then, and then we, will we will be good, be to, good go. to go. It does record, it does record audio, audio as well. As well. All right, so you may hear that in the background, but let me turn the volume down. Or, matter of fact, I could have just hit mute on the remote control on the 4K Pro remote. If it don't, guys, if it don't start up, all you have to do, because it will not show up currently right now in your row. And, you know, I understand it's meant to hide, right? It is meant to hide. Um, but you can go over here or you can go into the permission and tell it to show up however you want to do it. But you can go into your settings, go down to apps, go to the right, and go down to where it says see all apps. Go into see all apps and scroll down to the bottom where it's going to have the USB right here. You see it right there. You see my cursor? It is right there. Click on it. Click open, and it should come up like this. Now, if your feed is not showing, all right, I want to be very, very clear. If your feed is not showing, I need you to take that little cursor that you see up here by my hat on my face. I need you to go into devices, and then you should see your USB, okay? You should see your USB. Mine is already on. It's ready to go. It's ready. Now, you're going to say, where is it going to save this video footage at? It's going to save it internally unless you go over here. Nope, let me do this. I'm not ready to exit. Sorry about that. But I can go over here and go into my settings, and you can tell it where to go. As simple as that. But right now, guys, when you set up motion detection, it's going to record anything that sets it off. When you first click motion detection, give it like 15 seconds before it starts kicking in. All right? I'm about to show you right now in real time. I'm going to go over here and grab like uh, these right here, these shoes right here. All right? Or the white shoes. I'll grab the white shoes. It doesn't matter. But it tells you, give you 15 seconds. And when it saves, guys, when it saves, your motion is no longer picking up any motion. Pay attention to down here because it tells you where it's going to save right in the bottom in the middle. It tells you where it's going to save. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click motion. And again, it's going to tell you. It says, hey, it takes up to 15 seconds, all right, or 10 seconds. It detected within 15 seconds, and then motion, to, it will delay um, 10 seconds to open, but when it stops the motion, it'll take up to 15 seconds. So make sure you read that, and then we go from there. After you read that, just go down here and select motion detection. And again, pay attention to down here where it's being recorded, okay? So I'm going to set that up. I'm going to hit it. And so far, and look up here, look up here in the top left, and you'll see it. It'll go from there when it picked me up. All right, so it picked me up a little bit as I was moving. You saw the chair moving. I'm going to let it die out. And you're going to see down in the middle, at the bottom, it's going to save. 
There it is. You see it right there. And it tells you exactly where it's saved to. But now I'm about to walk across the screen. I'm going to pick up the red cup first. You see that it started right up here. It starts right up here. And it tells you, here it is right here, wherever your camera is at. But, you know, if you want, you're done. I can go off the screen, out from in front of the camera, and again, look in the top left-hand corner. It's going to tell you when it stopped. And then look at the bottom. The bottom middle of the page is going to tell you where it saved it to. There it is. Now you're going to see me on this last clip. It's going to activate again. You see recording at the top. You see recording uh, right up there. <laughs> right up there. You see it. All right. You see it right there. It's record. And you're going to see me grab these shoes. So I'm, I'm acting like my kids, right? Like, oh, shoot, I'm about to rock these, right? I got these J's. I'm about to rock them. All right? I'm at work. And again, in the top left-hand corner and in the middle of the bottom of the screen, it's going to save. And then you're going to see me walk across and put them back. All right? Give it a second. All right? And so finally, you're going to see me walk across. It's going to activate again. So each time it does you know, activation, you know, um, it picks up your motion, it's going to start recording you along with your audio. And so I will put these back. And if you don't want it to record anymore, I'll show you what to do. All right. So you what to do. But before I even stop this, and you see it up here, it tells me I can stop detecting right up here at the top. It tells me that. But again, you don't have to be in the app. You can you can just sit there. Again, I will cut off the app, right? And it's still recording me. It's still recording me. I'm going to do a salute. One, two, what? Three, four, five, right? And you may not see it, but it's still recording. And so, again, I can just go up here and go into uh, go to app settings, then app. And then go down here to see all apps. And then just scroll back down to USB camera. Open it up. And it's still right here is ready to go. Straightforward. But you can turn the camera off. You can do all of that. I mean, you can turn the app off. And as you still going back and through, it will pick you up and record. It's as simple as that. But again, I'm going to just go up here and hit stop detecting. All right. And now we're going to go and see where it say. And you see it down there. It say to USB camera. MD stands for motion detection. So how do you get to it? Let's do it. All right. You got to have a file manager. I'm going to use Explore. Any file manager will do. All right. Any file manager will do, guys. So, again, let's go over here. I'm going to Explore. And I got so many videos, guys. And again, yours may not be like this when you first open it up. So let me close it down. Let me close this down. So your when you first open up, if you use an Explorer, um, this application, uh, every file manager is different. But if you use an Explorer, it yours may look like this. All you have to do is click on it, right? Click on internal storage. Remember, it's saved in DCIM, so we're going to hit that one. And then look, USB camera, we're going to do that one. And guess what? It got motion detection. It also will take a picture of you as well. So, I mean, I can click on there. And you see it. This is from yesterday. All right. You see it right there. This is from yesterday. But it will take some pictures. Or you can go into the motion detection. You see, I got 40 recordings. 40 of them. It tells you right there. So, let me just click in there. And these are all my recordings from yesterday. But I'm about to show you what it recorded just a few minutes ago. And so I'm going to keep going down, keep going down. And there it is right here. You see me, I think, right here with the cup. All right, you see me come over here, right? 
I'm, I'm explaining to you, did I pick up the cup? You saw that in real time. You saw it in the video, all right? Now, I can stop it. I can go to the next one. And again, I'm talking. If you want to hear me, all I got to do is unmute it. Up there. <laughs> right up there. You see it. All right. You see it right there. It's record. And you're going to see me grab these shoes. So I'm, I'm acting like my kids, right? Like, oh, shoot. I'm about to rock these, right? I got these J's. I'm about to rock them. All right. I'm at work. And again, in the top left hand corner and in the middle of the bottom of the screen it's going to save and then you're going to see me walk across and put them back all right all so right let's give me, it a second it's getting ready to stop and so you see me come back and bring them back these are all the fees walk across it's going to activate again so each time it does you know activation you know um it picks up your motion it's going to start recording you along with your audio and so I will put these back. And if you don't want it to, and again, you can just you can just have some fun with this, man. Yep. It, it, and it's still right here. It's ready to go. Straightforward. All right. So I'm gonna just mute it for right now, and and then go from there. But um, again, guys, this is straightforward. I mean, very very nice. Um, easy to do. It just gives you a little something you can do on this device. Again, this will work with all Android TV boxes, but I did want to share it with y'all. Um, that way you see it. If you have any questions or you can't find it, you know, put it in the comments. It's very, very easy. If you don't know how to sideload, you need me to create a video for sideloading, I'm here for you. I will sideload it. Or you can just go into my channel and search, you know, Explorer app, you know, Different ways you can side load onto this device, whether it's send anywhere or just using the Explorer, you can side load apps over that way as well. I want to hear your experience. Let me know if this worked for you on your device. If it was fun, are you going to use it to watch your dogs? Are you going to use it to see if your kids are jumping all over your furniture, you know, arguing, cussing? I would love to see how you would use this. This is very, very fun, and it's easy, and it's free, all right? Just do a little bit of work and, you know, side load it, and you'll be good. Thank you, guys. Big salute. Again, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Also, thumbs up. Share this because somebody who's using this device right here or any other device, NVIDIA Shield, Chromecast, whatever you want, any type of Android, cheap Android devices, somebody this may be useful for all right thank you guys and i'll talk to you on the next one guys peace